Hi again. Uh, my next movie monster is the Basilisk from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And uh, I'm going to start off with the eye again. Um, nasty looking eye, very narrow, narrow to a point at one side and the other, like that. Okay, and then you see the eyeball inside it, kind of blank eyeball, you know, it's very snake like. And then over the top you have a ridge, uh, almost like a little flames coming up here over the back and then of course you get the, the wrinkles underneath the eye there and uh, the scaly back which goes up to which look like a, a couple of ears but they're not really ears I would think but they're uh, pointed thorn type things there you know and then they go along the back hook shapes all the way down the back there. But you remember this is a, a kind of snake character. Uh, so the model is going to be fairly short. Come down to that with the, the nostrils in there. And then the mouth kind of curves in a very kind of snake-like way. It's wide open of course so I'm going to curve way back like that and the chin again quite open way down here curves up like that and underneath and underneath you find a kind of long bits sort of kind of loose skin hanging down like that and then back onto the neck again and on this neck of course will be all sorts of bumps and lines and so on which we'll put in later um, now the mouth is not open all the way, well it is open all the way to the back like that but there's a kind of membrane that covers a lot of it and uh, this side of it comes in about there and you see the other side appearing over there and the folds of skin coming up like that, okay? And in the mouth of course these fearsome teeth and they're kind of point, pointed back the way and on this side of the mouth will come in, let's see about here and you'll see the other row appearing behind it in a second so I'm carrying on with these to there and the other side of the mouth comes in like that see them behind these teeth here and you'll see the other teeth coming in one there and there and kind of doubling up I think it's a very fearsome look and you see that kind of doubleness of the teeth there and the front and the bottom coming out like that and uh, like that again pointing backwards like thorns almost okay you got all these lines came out so there's the basic shape of the basilisk and I'm going to ink in okay inking in now and uh, start again with the eye up over the top down to the point there, showing the eyeball inside, this kind of blank eyeball, and then the ridge above the eye, like that, and of course these are wrinkles, and you can wrinkle your lines a bit, get the sense of a, a, the slow eye blink of the reptile, and then this kind of jagged shape coming up, bony kind of jagged shape coming up over the top here, and that'll go way back to there. You know, another bit of his head coming in, probably about there, I think. And then this bony shape coming up to these two kind of pointed ear shapes. And inside you'll get a kind of triangulation of lines coming in there. And then these hook shapes along the back, and we'll be down like that, okay? And um, that's how we can carry this on up, these kind of scaly shapes. A lot of these shapes will follow the line of the, or the line of the body and the face and so on, you know? Like around the front of the, the snout here, down to the nose and the nostril there, you get other kind of lines following that, that top line there like that. 
coming down and going around it accentuates the reptilian nature. You can break your line up too and do that. And in between, of course, you can put little bumps and ripples and that kind of thing, you know. It shows you the scaliness of the of the skin. Um, there's another kind of shape here and a shape going up there. And then down over the teeth area. And these curves going right to the back, in the wide open mouth. And the end of the mouth comes just below these ear shapes, you see. And then I can put in these front teeth now, these massive choppers. <laughs> you know, really vicious looking things, great barbs. Look at that. And then the other side of the mouth coming up there. With the other teeth showing behind it. Like that. And then this membrane of skin coming down. And the other side coming in as well. And the line coming in there. And uh, I take the weight off the, the pen, make thinner lines here. Don't think so big. Like that. And then the bottom jaw coming up in a curve like that. And then another curve, and then one more curve come up to there. And we can put in the big bottom teeth now. Okay, he's starting to look uh, nicely vicious. <laughs> yeah, another bit of line coming on there, another bit of ripples along the, the point. Okay, and then down here, uh, what you'll get is a kind of, well, I'll draw the bottom line first of all, coming up. And that kind of it looks like it's overlapping, it comes up like that. And you've got another bit of line kind of overlapping that going up there and the bottom part as I said these folds of skin hanging down below the chin and you get this again this kind of snake like quality to the to the markings you get that line doubled up there and on that you will get the you know, your little Looks like scale like markings on it, like snake scales, like that. Okay, another one coming up, like that. There, and underneath here, you get to some lines again with the kind of snake type scale markings on it. Come in there, like that, fill that in. Some more coming in here. Right, uh, maybe another wee wrinkly line coming in here, bringing it up to there. And as these lines come down, you get a, a kind of set of wrinkles in this part of the neck coming up like that. And then following that line around there to kind of join up to what's happening here. And what you get are a couple of ridges, one ridge coming up here, again a kind of broken top to it, coming in there, and another ridge appearing uh, about here. So you get a slightly segmented shape, and then of course you get the, the line of the neck coming up like that, and curves. Okay. Um, now you'll get lines to show the kind of shape of your uh, of the neck, and those lines will come in around this way. So you start to put them in very lightly if you can, wiggly lines like that. Okay, and then coming down 
to join these lines here. Always trying to get the sense of the kind of ridged lines running along the neck. Double these up a bit here. Like that. Okay. Um, right, now let's uh, let's just uh, stand back and have a look at that now. And let's see where I can put in some some darker shading. Okay, I've decided to shade in with a, a thinner pen. There's a point eight. Once we start that off, I've done a, a wee bit dark above the eye here. And also, these lines coming across are solid, so if you want to, you can make them look three-dimensional by shading slightly under underside there, under under the shapes, like I'm doing here along that ridge there, okay, and also uh, along this part of the pouch underneath his eye to give that a kind of three-dimensional look. Yeah, maybe a wee bit on that side too, okay, and then these are in kind of indentations along your snout, so you could shade in along them too. Maybe make that black because that's his nostril and shade around it. And uh, you'll also get a bit of shading, a bit of darkness along the bottom of his snout there. And certainly coming up in these long kind of indentations coming up there. Do lots of uh, parallel lines for your, your shading like that. Okay, and these in here, that'll be very dark. In fact, just about black on the side of his mouth there. Okay, and um, this part of the membrane on the other side of his mouth, again, that'll be quite dark, maybe not totally black, but we can certainly shade that in with a lot of lines going together like that. Okay, and then also underneath here, this membrane here, you'll get a lot of darkness underneath that part. So again, you could use also little lines coming down, going along those lines in the membrane. Like that. Okay. And if you want to darken them up, you just go across them on a, a cross hatch. Like that. Okay, um, the same with underneath here. Again, lines coming out from underneath to make the bottom of the mouth a bit darker. And then we can do the same coming this way underneath these folds of skin. Like that, okay. And we could add some smaller details like the little links and little bits of spot and so on, like that. And um, underneath here, of course, we can also have some dark lines coming in. Bit of shading underneath the bottom of the neck there. Just following these lines coming down. And then bringing the hairy part just underneath. Okay, and the same with these ridges. Um, this is going to be a, a ridge here. Uh, there'll be a, a shadow on this side of it. So again, you could put some, some lines in there. Same with this bit here. They'll be coming down alongside those ridges. Gives a sense of the three dimensionality of the, of the neck. And a few more lines like that as well. It's quite a, com a complex and complicated looking creature. So you want to try and give that that feeling to it, you know. A bit more shading in here. Maybe make that totally black in there like that. Yeah, that's coming on. More shading in there. Excellent. That's looking quite good. And I can do some more, maybe some lines coming across the way like that. Give it a more lively feeling. Okay, well I think that's, that's pretty good. And I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you can join me uh, for my next tutorial. I'll be talking about another movie monster. But uh, in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing. <laughs>